And this morning, honestly, we haven't gotten anything done. I was just organizing the farm, cleaning up equipment, because my gosh, we kind of had implements scattered all over the place. Uh, but today what we got going is we got to run down this afternoon. I kind of have a meeting. I told Buck I'd probably be around uh, Pot Valley around 1 o'clock because what we're going to do is if you guys remember, Buck brought out some demo skid steers. He brought a Kubota and a John Deere out. We're going to choose one of those. And then we're also going to trade in the 4020. And then I'm, ah, there's so many different things we got to do. And then I'm also probably going to get the 8130 up to Buck. And we're going to do a couple tune and power upgrades to that 8130. But first... Gotta jump on the Apex PC, check markets, see what they're doing. I usually take my grain down to Snyder. They seem to do have fairly good prices in Central Valley Ag. February 2020 corn is not doing the best. We're at 362, which is fine, but I'm looking to kind of lock out further prices. Now, if you guys don't know what basis is, basis is just the difference between uh, future prices, like future on the board, CME future prices, where you have speculators and maybe a farmer's hedging. You have institutions maybe in there a little bit. It's the difference between futures and then cash, what you can get at your local elevator. Usually, most of the times in Nebraska and the Midwest, basis is going to be negative. But, you know, sometimes if a certain if a certain co-op or a certain area is low on corn, you may see basis, the cash prices, become more than the future prices. Even if the coronavirus doesn't hit us, you know, and it doesn't affect people around West Point, Nebraska, it may still hit markets hard. And that's one thing I got to worry about as a farmer. Buddy, get down. Buddy, good boy. Good boy. He always likes to hang out on the light pole. I don't know what it is. Buddy, I'll see you later. I'm going to see Buck. No, you can't come. Buddy, you got to stay here. Buddy, sit. Buddy, go home. Buddy loves Buck. He just loves Buck. So a couple of things I was wanting to do. First of all, we've been doing a lot of pulling with the F-350. It does really good. I love it. But man, the one thing, if I could change one thing, that'd be to have an F-450 just so I could be a little more safe on the road because right now, don't get me wrong, the, I mean, the difference between F-350 and F-450 isn't that much, but it'd just be nice to have kind of top of the line for, for towing. So, we have two F-350s. The wife, I bought this for her, and I kind of realized it was a bad decision, and I was like, I was kind of talking to her, I was like, hey, if you got an F-350, would you be kind of happy? She's like, don't buy me an F-350. So, I already bought an F-350, she doesn't know that. What we're going to do... Since I got this F-350 at a decent price, I know I can sell it. I can sell it pretty much at the same price. So what, what I'm gonna do, pull it up on the trailer, and then maybe, I oh, get out. Okay, we got like a foot to go. And then maybe sell this to Buck for his dealership. A nice flatbed F-350 dually. Now the one thing is, is Buck is crazy about colors. He wants all white trucks. So that's my only issue. His dealership has all white trucks, so I'm, I'm guessing that he'll want an all white truck. Now, we're, we're kind of pushing with that 350 because I'm about to put the 4020 on too because we have to sell the 4020. The question is, can I fit it on here? So we actually had a company come out and install a loading ramp. My gosh, the biggest expense was the gosh dang cement for this thing. Holy crap. Underneath it is pretty much all cement. This is rated at 60,000 pounds, so I can pull something up 60,000 pounds. I, can, I saw them build it. I can almost guarantee you I can put a lot more on, on that. But check this out. It's got a hydraulic li driven gate here. Check this out. As I go up here, here, I gotta go in the shed and actually hit the switch. We just wired it to our shed over here. And there we go. I turn that and then go back out here and then this folds down for me. So it's kind of nice. I kind of wish it was out here, but hop in the truck here, pull the truck around. Now this, this may be one of the heaviest loads we've hauled with this truck yet. If we have the other F-350 and then the 4020 on, make it a run over to Platte Valley. This is probably going to be the heaviest I've hauled yet. We got her backed up. Now, it's not perfectly even, but there's like an inch gap. That's pretty much like nothing. So, I think I could fit the 4020 on here. It will be good, but this puppy, she'll be loaded down. I love it, though. Puts a little desk to the old Ford, even though she's brand new. But... Our 4020 is tucked in here. If you guys don't know our tractors or maybe you're new, got the 8970, got the 8130, which I got to take into Buck today, actually, at Platte Valley. He's going to work on that, put a little tune on that, get some more horsepower out of her so she can run the DB60. And then we got the 4020 diesel. And then we got the S, we got the steel chainsaw. And then we got the S690. And then my newest purchase was a John Deere 7290R with a loader. Now, at first, I was going to make this a planning tractor, but I don't know exactly what this is going to be doing. I'm not fully sure yet. I was going to have it run the planner, but I kind of realized we need just a little more horse. 8130 is just a larger machine, so I think we're going to have the 8130 run it, but she's a beauty. Once I laid my eyes on her, I was like, we got to get her. 
So what I gotta do is fire up the 8970 and then we can move the 4020 out. I'm gonna hop in here, open the cab door, start her up. Just pull her out here, we'll make that turn there, right there. I'm just gonna leave her running. Fire up the old 4020. Starts right up. Now it's gonna be sad to let this tractor go guys, but we just have so many loaders and loader tractors now. I just figured I kind of want a big strong loader tractor, I guess, the 7, which is the 7R, and then we're going to get a tracked loader, a skid steer. So I don't really need the 4020, even though, man, I love this tractor. Prices have just gotten so high for these, which is awesome for me, uh, but it's kind of a collector's item. I figured somebody else would want it. Going back out of here. There we go. Now, a lot of viewers have been wanting me to get a case. <clears throat> and switch it up from deer. Now we've demoed some and I just, I just couldn't make the change yet. Don't get me wrong, love everything about them and stuff. It's just, we're kind of, deer's just been always good to us. So we're sticking with deer for now. Don't get me wrong, maybe in the future, we could get a, uh, we could get a case. So I think what I'm gonna try to do, now this is kind of sketchy. This is the country, so uh, some towing rules don't really apply, you know. But what I'm gonna try to do is pull the 420 up, go, Put her in first gear. So I'm gonna slowly, we'll just put her in crawl pretty much. Slowly pull her up and then I'm gonna put the loader just kind of all resting on the flatbed of the F-350 without trying to scratch things up too much. Okay, here we go, we're just gonna crawl up this. There we go. Almost. Okay, I gotta be, I gotta be easy with this. Cause those front tires, once that goes off, I gotta keep the wheel straight. It's gonna go off there. There we go. Okay, it's on the trailer now. Now keep going slowly. And then the rear will be on the trailer and this thing will be weighed down. There we go. Rear tires are on there. Okay, perfect. Now I'm gonna pull up as much as possible. How much room do we got? Here, I gotta step out here. It looks like we got like a foot, but on the rear, yeah, we can probably come up a foot or so, I'd say. Okay, we'll put her in gear. Slowly crawl forward. There we go. Got about a couple of inches yet. Keep coming, keep going. I'd say that's good. Okay, so I'm just gonna rest this here. Now I know the loader hydraulics, once I shut this off, are probably gonna try to sink down and put a lot of weight on it. Not too much weight, but they're gonna sink down a little further. So, we'll just let this rest there. And there we go. And last strap. Don't say it, don't say it, don't say it, don't say it, don't say it. I don't think she's going anywhere. Gosh! Oh, if you guys watch TikToks, that's one of my favorite TikToks. I saw a TikTok, I was like, oh my gosh, dude. That's exactly what it is. Every time you're strapping something down, you can't leave without saying she's not going anywhere, baby. I saw that TikTok, I was just dying. But guys, in all reality, we got hit by the flood and we got hit hard by the flood. And luckily, we had a neighbor who stepped in and helped us out. And that's, uh, that's Stevio. Stevio down the road. Uh, he's probably a mile, two miles down the road. He really helped us out. Now, I got to give a big apology to him because I didn't get my equipment right away. The kind of the flood went down it, uh, you know, and at the time I was just kind of busy with other stuff and I never picked up my equipment. So he had equipment sitting in his front lawn for probably three or four more days after the water was completely gone. I feel I, I really feel bad for him. So I just got to say thank you, Stevio. If you're watching the vlog, man, I really appreciate you putting it out there. And if you guys want, he has his own farm of vlog. Uh, it's called Squad Farms. Over there, my gosh, dude. I'm, okay, I'm gonna be honest, guys. He does a, like a 10 times better job than I do. Than I do about being realistic. And he does it better. He does it a heck of a lot better. So if you guys want, seriously, go subscribe there. It's a lot better than some of my farming, than most, than 99% of my farming roleplay. Trust me. I'll link his channel down below. But seriously. We're on our way to Platte Valley. It's about two miles down this gravel road. Good old Platte Valley. Look at her. I think Buck said he was going to be around him. Oh, there he is. He's chopping up a tree there. Huh. So I'm going to pull in here, see what Buck's up to. And I got to find a loading dock. I think he had one around back, but I'm going to talk to him quick. We'll see. Is the trailer making it back there? It looks good. Hey, Buck. Hey, what? What you doing there? Some, 
you hear about that tree disease that kept spreading around here over the past, what says that, ash tree disease, whatever oh. it was, it kept killing all the trees? Yeah. Well, I don't remember, if, I don't remember what one was on that, but they got into this tree and we had to cut it down. It was... Oh, uh, like, shoot. We have to replant one over there, but yeah. I just got done doing that for about three hours. Dang. Dealership's looking nice, man. Really Thank getting you, to start a lot of inventory around here. It's looking good. Mm -hmm. We have to go pick up a whole lot more today. Really? Dang. Yeah. Okay. Um, if you need help with that tree or anything, let me know, man. Let me know. Uh, that'd be great. I don't really have the time right now to, in other words, clean the rest of this stuff up. I mean, we could probably sell it as firewood, if anything, but it's okay. spring. Okay. It's not well, do you got so so remember that deal about the skid steers in the 4020? I brought my 4020 in. I'm gonna buy a skid steer today, Buck. You're gonna buy a skid steer finally. Yep. Yep. We're gonna do All it. Right. And then you know I'm, this F350 back here. I bought it for my yeah. wife, Buck. My wife doesn't like the F350. The question is, do you like her? Not my wife, but the F350. <laughs> I, I thought you were single. No. Um, I mean, it it looks nice. But the only issue with it is, is that if it was to be any sort of usefulness to me, I would need to have the truck be white if Gosh, I was to use it. Gosh darn it, I knew you wanted the truck white. Okay, um, what if, Yeah. what about a personal truck? See, I already have a 250 with a topper. Okay, well, I, I mean, can, well, I could maybe take it back and oh. put it for sale. Would you, Buck, Buck, I got an idea. Oh. What? So I got an idea, would you... Would you at all, because I know a lot of farmers come through here, a lot of ranchers compared to my farm. Would you at all, uh, could I give you some type of commission if you sell this truck here? So like you'll get, let's say I tr sell a truck for five $5,000. How about I give you 1% of the total truck's price if you sell the truck here? Because I think you have a lot better chance of selling the truck here rather than I do at my farm just for marketing purposes. I don't know that whole internet thing with Facebook ads and stuff. Yeah, I mean, it's got the Bradford bed on the back. Yeah. Uh, I, sh I mean, you could. I'd give you, I'd give you, I'd give you one percent commission. So if we sell for fifty 1%. grand, if we get sell for fifty grand, you get five hundred bucks of the deal. Uh, uh sunshine. There's got to be more if you want to be sticking it here. Okay, two percent. Sell for fifty grand, you get a thousand dollars. Fifteen percent taken. Holy leave. crap, Buck! No, hey, you're you not doing that. Stuck on my lot. I'm gonna no. Dude, fifteen. Fifteen, 15. percent. What? Yeah. So if I sell it, if I sell it, you get if I it's sell for fifty grand, isn't it? Yeah, if I sell for fifty grand, you get seventy five hundred dollars in commission. Yeah, you're gonna put it on my property, which is company property. You're gonna pay up. Okay. Ah, oh, shoot. Okay, I, I just can't. <sighs> okay, how about this? What? I get the 15%, but I'll give you rewards points so you can get a couple discounts on stuff that you get here. But it's I, I'm not going to say I'm going to hand you something. Okay. But you get, well, I could throw in a couple free oil changes, a couple free service days, and possibly a discount on some new equipment. Not big discounts, but just little ones. Okay, we can, we can do that. Let's... uh. I'm gonna raise the price to 55 though, so that it covers some of my, so it covers some of my, a, a commission expenses. Because I think this thing will sell for 55. So yeah, depending on how many miles are on it. Well, shoot, it's a diesel; it'll run forever. Yeah, no, uh, she only she only has 10k on it. Oh yeah, you'll be fine. Came you'll from get, Jake's uncle, get. and he barely drove it. Yeah. I said that truck looked familiar. Yeah. I thought you said this came from your wife. No, no, I bought it for my wife. My wife doesn't like her. So, uh, uh, yeah, it's got to go. The question is, why would your wife want this truck? When you I was drive thinking she wants a diesel, thing. Power Stroke Dually. Any men get in her way, she can just plow them over, you know? She don't have to worry about that thing. Okay. Self-defense. Well, let's get this 4020 off the trailer. Let's get all this stuff untangled. Uh, roll around. Uh, if you want to, we don't need to. Uh, never mind. Petey's back there. Okay. Oh, we got sticker. We got decals on Petey. Uh, if, yeah, just pull it up here by the front uh, service doors so we're on level ground and then we can get that thing out safe, get the stuff off safe. Okay, do you have a ramp at all? The 4020 is just on there so awkwardly it'd be better if I had a ramp. Do you have a ramp in the back? Um, yeah, we do. Okay. I was gonna I'd back. have to move Petey though. So just come around back, go around the loop. The, the big one goes all the way around by the used equipment, that okay. whole used department, and you'll see the two semis and that's where the ramp is. Okay, that'll work good then. So that road we took here, was crazy dirty dude that thing was muddy as heck and my f-350 is just covered 
It's between those two skid steers is what we're going to go with. There's a Kubota there. And there's a John Deere 33-3G over there too. And I think I know which one. Just can't say yet. We just got... What way did he say? I think he said left and around this old used barn. I'm pretty sure. I think he said this way. My gosh, dude. I cannot see crap. I mean, all I can see is crap, I guess. But if you know what I mean. Get as close as you can to this ramp and I'll tell you when you're on. Okay. Sounds good, Buck. This pro trailer backup assist is crap, Buck. I like the old-fashioned way, man. This sucks. Are you not looking through the rear window? Oh, you're gonna, you're gonna hit the trailer, you're gonna hit the trailer. Okay. Stop, go forward, straighten out. I got mud all crank, over my windows, it, dude. I can't even see. Crank it left, crank it left. Okay. Go forward, you're gonna hit the trailer again. Right. Go. Oh, are we gonna fit? You're gonna wanna go, uh, eh? Uh, yep, you're good, okay, you're good. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Holy crap. There you dude. go, perfect, you're done. Straight Stop. 90, baby. The way we like her. Holy okay, crap. Okay, well, that was really close. Sorry, I'm going to get these straps off here. Yeah, dude. Sorry, that was the first time using uh, pro trailer backup assist. That thing uh, was a mess. Oh, my gosh. I can tell. You can't get this strap done. done. There we go. There's one. So these 4020s, do they sell pretty good at your dealership then? Um, I haven't had one yet. Oh, I haven't had one yet, but Stevio came in and bought a 49. That's the wrong button. Stevio came in and bought a 4960 uh, earlier this morning. So okay. What, if it, you don't mind me asking, what do you pay for his 4960? 65000 Holy crap, dude. Those older machines have just skyrocketed in price. Mm hmm Especially for the price, for the hours. Like It, it, even, it even had 5,600 hours on it, but it's still... The guy replaced, we replaced the clutch and all that stuff on it. So it was still pretty much a brand new tractor. Like the guy did a resto on a little bit of it. Got the rims all nice and prettied up. Yeah. Paint's been not really redone, but touched up a little bit. So it was really nice. Yeah. All but, I can say is these pr these prices are just going parabolic for this. It, it It's like a it's like a bubble in a way, almost, it, for for this old machinery. But, Buck, you got to think. I'll just try firing uh, it up. Okay. You got to think, I guess. I, I, I saw a Machinery Pete article the other day when I was on the old Apex Game PC. And uh, it's it's because of these de this def stuff, like these pre def machines. My eighty one thirty, that price has skyrocketed in value because every yeah. old, every farmer wants them. Just right pre def, you know well, that 2010, yeah, 2011, was, 2012. Yeah, I was I was telling Bustillo this, and I went, the, all these farmers these days they want to invest in all this older machinery because the new stuff they almost can't even work on anymore. It requires a computer stuff, and if you're an old fashioned farmer and you literally just go out and grab your craftsman. You're not going to be the guy going over here going, how on earth do I configure this with this little doohickey device? Yeah. You, can't. you yeah. just want to go out there and tear apart a carburetor. Or you want to go out there and tear apart the engine bay or something, a crankshaft. You need to replace You just They want to get get the grease monkey going. Yeah, capital's moving back to the old machines. It's uh, it's interesting what's happening now. Uh, let's get this stuff going so that way we can get your sales wherever okay. it is. Needs to go. Oh, do you want to back it off? Uh, Yeah, sure. I can back her off. You're gonna have to give her a little bit of you have to give her a little bit of diesel on this. Oh, yeah. You gotta pop over that ledge. Yeah, you might have to gun it a little bit. Okay, I'm just gonna get her up there and then kind of just release the clutch. She'll she should crawl. There we go. Am I on there? There you go. Yep, you're on. Okay. You're good. Coming back. Get those front wheels on. Perfect. There you go. You're off. You're right. off. Where do you, do you want me to just put it over here and you can put park it somewhere or do you want me to park it uh, somewhere? Yeah, just back it straight up into the grass behind you. It'll be fine. Okay, so um, what what do we want to do with the 350? I think the 350 we're going to try to sell here. If we can't okay. sell it here, I'll probably take it back to the farm and lower the price. All okay, right, well. You can, you know our driver. You can hop in her if you want. Yep. Let's see. Go. There we go. Glow the little... light should be on. Yep, there you go. All right, well, I go, I'm going to, I'll back this up. Uh. Do you have an idea of where you want me to place it? I mean, yeah, sure, this is my dealer, but you might have a better idea of where to advertise. I mean, you look like a guy. You came from upstate New York. I'd hope you know about advertising. Yeah, well, I was thinking put her out front, probably. Just out out front, you know, like, nice and shiny. Like, out front? Uh, it, it, pull her around to the front. We'll kind of guide her. I'll, I'll look out, scout out a couple right. places. Okay, hey, come slow. Let, yeah, come slow. Say, let me just kind of know. Yep. Keep coming. I don't think you're going to hit. Hold on. Keep coming. You got about a foot, okay. Uh, yeah. good. Okay, you're up on there. Keep coming okay. back. Keep coming. Coming. I'll close. Okay, my... stop, stop. There you go. You're on. You're on. All right. All right. Okay, you can back her off now. Okay. 
All right, where are you thinking? Well, Buck, I was kind of thinking—I was kind of thinking of putting it right here where the lawnmowers are. But if you got lawnmowers there, it's probably not going to work out the best. You, dude, you need to move those bushes. Those bushes are ugly there. Take one of those lawnmowers and chop them down, baby. I'm gonna chop down your farm for saying that. Those are beautiful bushes. <laughs> Buck, dude, those are so ugly. You're ugly. Buck, <laughs> you gotta get those bushes out of there. It blocks the whole dealership. And get your truck out of here. Okay, okay, okay. We'll <laughs> you don't play that game. We're gonna do it that way. Dude, I'm, I'm just telling you, Buck. That might people want to drive by and they want to see everything on your dealership. These bushes are. Hey, I have an, I have an idea. <laughs> Let's put it in the dealer. Yes. No. Uh, honestly, I wouldn't mind that. Do you? Honestly, I mean, I can open. I'm being serious. I'd put it in the dealer. That'd be kind of cool, actually. I don't have anything to. I mean, it'd be kind of interesting. People would go, "Why on earth do you have a truck and a deer dealer?" But I go, "I don't have a lot of stock in yet, so I'm trying to sell a truck. Please exactly. buy it." And have you seen a farmer when he's waiting 15 minutes for you to look up a part number? He's just curious as heck, just looking around, looking at different parts and stuff. Yeah, mm -hmm. let's put her in here. I like I'm it. gonna get the door open, move the truck in. Okay, it's kind of like they do in the malls. Yeah, a little bit. People just sit there and cry about the car they can't have. You want me to back her in? Yeah, just go get her quick. Okay. Am I good on both sides, Buck? Yeah, just bring it over here where I'm at. I'm going to see if I can't get it. You might need to, like, back it up and then bring the nose towards me, but just bring it so the nose is facing me. Okay. Don't hit the shelves. You want me to roll some coal in here? No. And plus, it's deft. I right, keep bringing it in. Keep, keep it coming. coming, keep it coming, keep it coming. Pretty much keep going until I tell you to stop. And keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, and stop. Crank the wheel left. There you go. There we go. Now it smells like She's diesel in here, but we'll let the door, we'll let the door, we'll keep the doors open. She's a beaut. Hold on, I think we need to do one thing. Uh, I gotcha. Ladies love them. And Dodge guys overuse them. <laughs> 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 they gotta if they're driving a Dodge, man. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Let's get this stuff going here because otherwise it's going to take forever. Yeah. Um, so what are we doing with your, what are we doing with all the... We'll talk about the 8130 later, but I do want to buy a skid loader and I think I made my decision on the John Deere. The John Deere 33.3G. I love the Kubota and I really wanted to go with the Kubota from the start, but when I got into that and I demoed that for a couple of days, I just didn't like it. John Deere just handled better and I think it's going to work better for me. All right. Well... So I want to so purchase gonna, that John Deere. We're gonna get deer. you for the deer, right? Yep. We're gonna get me for the deer. Okay. Now, also, I, I saw one. This. I'm gonna grab papers. Where you had a, a skid plate, uh, not a skid plate, but a uh, a plate so you can move trailers yeah, with your skid steer. Do you have that yeah, for sale? Has, we do, but we don't have one here right now. Okay. I currently have it. Um, they're getting some more bracket. They're getting the step welded on. Okay. We well, ripped off the step and we're welding on a new step to get into the cab. Okay, uh, can, when will this be? I order one here for you if yeah, you want. Yeah, if you could order one of those. And then, let's see, does a bucket come with it? The standard John Deere bucket? or? Yeah, we do have. We actually do have a bucket, but that's something we had to go pick up some stuff from the suppliers today, and that was one of the things we had to go pick up. Okay, okay. And then, but for right, huh? and then I was thinking forks, and I'm probably good. I'm probably set. All right, well, we got. We also have the forks as well. Again, we just need to go pick that stuff up. Is the pop machine free over there? No, it's 50 cents for one. Okay. Buck, where'd you go? I'm in the back. I'll okay. be right back. Okay. Got a Sprite. <sighs> Sorry about that. Oh, you're good. Make sure we, I just had to make sure with uh, uh, Tim if we had the thing in there. Yeah, we have to go pick the three up from the supplier. I mean, if, if you'd like to help me carry a couple things back today, because, again, when you were running, you were at least in operations of Deer Country, you have an idea on how to do that. Yeah, no, um, I was the owner. We can pick up, the, deer, we can pick up the, oh, All right, well, I still need to go pick up. Like, yeah, no, you Buck, can if, if, you, on if you want. If you need help, I'd love to help you, Buck, because you all definitely right. helped me when I got Deer Country going. I'd love to help. All right, well, that's cool. We need to get – oh. I think I need to still invest. I think I'm still getting a couple things in, but if if anything, let's get your let's get your skid steer bought up first. Okay. Also, did you? We still need to go through with the full payments of the the seven R. Seven R. Yep. Gonna, yep. Because that was you that. gave me a little short term demo. I love it. I like it. Let's get that paid for. Okay. So we got that one at the two hundred ninety three thousand. Yep. That was two hundred ninety five. So we got we still have the paperwork. I had that on file. Okay. Um. But let's get the skid steer bought. 
Let's get the Which transaction is- for the tractor done, and then we'll go and pick up the attachments. We'll just go get that stuff. I'll grab the I'll grab PD because he has the tilt deck on the back and whatever okay. you can carry that's light enough. I think I have a few Kubotas down there that you could bring back. Yeah, like the little, work good. little tractors, and we'll just get that set up. So okay. I got the paperwork well, here. Let's what? yeah, let's get the paperwork done right now yeah. before we even go out there. And I want to try and get this. Trying to let the diesel air out of here. Jeez, it stinks. Yeah, no, my bad. You're fine. Uh, okay, let me just run this on the computer here. Uh, oh, I'm jumping up and down for excitement. Okay, so here's the paperwork. We got three pages. You already, uh, well, actually, let's just get the 7R done here because we already had everything just minus the last page. Okay. Um, this is bill of sale. I just need you to go down here to prove that you are taking ownership of the vehicle. The first page is all of the uh, inf- information you need to know on the purchase with the warranties that you have. We kept the 30 day, we kept the however many, the first stock warranty. I can't remember yep. where I'd have to look at it, but we kept that. I just need your signature here, proof bill of sale, that you're taking ownership of it. Yep, signature. Okay, thank there you. you. And what's the date again? It is February first. Is it the first? No, go. it's February 6th, 17th, I think. Okay, 17th. Okay, 29, 2020. Okay. Yep. Woo! <laughs> Three hundred and fifty-four thousand forty-seven dollars and eighty-three cents is the total after tax. But again, this is brand new equipment, so we'll get you the the deer all this because you're buying it brand new from us. It's dealer discounts and all that stuff. That'll take off about another. I think that's going to take off another. Let me just get all the different stuff here. So we've got that. So we got that package. That package. That package. That package. Take an extra forty-eight grand off. Your grand total is going to be three hundred six thousand forty-seven dollars and eighty-three cents. Okay, let's do the payment right now. I'm going to wire. I, I should be able to wire from my bank. Yeah, this afternoon they're still open. Yep. I'll wire from my um, bank to your bank. And, I can do it on my phone here. I'm on my phone, right. the U.S. Bank account app. So three hundred and three, right? Six. Three hundred six. Three hundred six thousand. Wait, three hundred and three thousand and sixty bucks? Nope. Three hundred and six thousand hundred dollars. And a hundred dollars. Perfect. I don't know how long it'll take the wire to go through. It's uh, out of my account. Like hang on, I know. Check your bank check account, my, yeah. Let me check this here. Check the finances. Yep. We got it. Okay. That was a fairly quick transaction. I got a couple we got a couple thousand off just for the transfer fee of them for whatever. So we got the money, so you're good to go. We can get that stuff. Let's go pick up the, imp- let's go pick up the attachments for it. I'm just gonna throw in the attachments for this because it's already enough. I'm just gonna be a nice guy to you. Well, thank you, you can write it off. I appreciate it. It's an international free attachments for skid steer day. I guess. I don't. Do you want us to shut the no. door the doors now or? Yeah, I think it's I think it's aired out enough. Plus, I got since we're leaving, I'm I'm actually. Coons will get in no, there. I think I think Tim's in there, so we can leave him shut, but yeah. he's in there. He'll be fine. So let's get the have you, I can hi- maneuver there. Have you, what? Have you hired Tony back yet? Is Tony working Tony's still up in Iowa. Okay. He actually took the he actually called me up. He took the uh, manager position out there. Oh what's his sales numbers? Are they pretty good? Uh yeah, he's 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 racking in pretty dang good numbers up there. Five dollars not doing so bad out there. Dang. Uh I'm going to get PD fired up here. Just follow me out there. We'll get everything else. Like I said, just pick up as much as your trailer can safely hold. Yep. yep. Do you have no a deal. power washer around here? My truck's a little dirty from hitting that mud yes. road. kind of On the front okay. side of the building over there by the red barn, there's three pumps. There's a def pump, gas pump, and right in the middle, there's a water ro- pressure washer. Done for. Thanks, Buck. All right. I'll see you at the dollar, bud. I'm going to use Buck's power washer and spray this bad boy off so I can at least see. My gosh. I don't even care about the trailer. I mean, it'd be kind of cool to clean it, but she's just going to get dirty and dirty. I just got to be able to see up here. Might as well just get the trailer while we're at her. I'm going to have to clean her off anyways. Okay. Now we got to go catch Buck because Buck's up the road and we got to catch him because I have no idea where we're going. I'm going to back in here because it looks like this is the only way I'm getting in because Buck's kind of... This Buck's kind of blocking here, but I guess Buck was saying this is the this is the main place where they do a lot of exchanges. A lot of equipment gets exchanged here. Even though it's a case dealership, this is kind of where things go down. It's like a central trading point. I don't know. So I think Buck's getting ready to pull out there. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I gotta talk to him. All right, Grant. So the plan here is I already got the 2720 Field Ripper on the uh, tilt deck. Okay. Uh, if you can see them over there, 
my right on the right side of the baler. Those are your both your attachments. Okay. Uh, well, at least that's well. No, one of them's the pallet forks, and then I think on the other side is the bucket. Okay. Uh, make sure you take the one with the rivets in it. It's a it's a black covered rivet bucket. That's the deer one. Okay. The other ones, uh, that's our separate one. And then on the just the opposite side of the Vermeer, I believe that's our plate, the one with the pencil hitch on it. So if you want to get all that stuff loaded in, I believe the back of your truck can hold at, at least the plate. The plate should be fine, and I wouldn't put the bucket on there or the pallet forks. That's not not that. Just, just put the plate in the back. Just load the way you think it's the safe, most safe. Okay. I'm gonna take this back to the dealer. You get your stuff done, and we'll be good. All right. What about? Is there anything else you need to haul? So just give the other attachments. You, if you can fit, uh, there's the over here behind the sprayer and the corn headers. There is a Kubota. Okay. As well as I think there's another one, as well over there. I'm not positive, but if, at least take the Kubotas back, the little tractors, and if you can fit it, I think there's a little John Deere 6300 on the other side, of the uh, big one DB 120s. Okay. Well, I was gonna say. I, I was gonna say I was gonna need something to lift those forks up. There's no way I was li able to lift those by hand. So as right. long as there's a Kubota here, that's what I'll load it with. That'll work good, but uh, or at I'll least do that to where I can get around you by the case. Yeah, I'll pull I'll off to the side just real tight. You should be able to fit through there. Just guide me for a little bit, and if I get too close, just yell. Okay. All right, just let me know when I'm getting close on the side. Yep. Come through here. Keep coming. I'll just wave at you. Keep coming. Keep coming. Oh, you'll make it fine. You're good. All right. All right I'll catch you back at the dealer, bud. Thank you. Ten four. So Buck's heading out with his semi. I gotta, I gotta put my ramps down. And I, to be honest, guys, I, don't, I think I got what we were supposed to do. Those forks, we're not gonna be able to load because those, the utility tractors that we're gonna haul just won't be able to attach to those. That's fine. So we'll come back with those. And then he said there's a John Deere 6300, I think, and then two Kubotas I gotta haul somewhere back here. And I think they're kind of over towards that side. So we're gonna walk around here. So here's one Kubota, Kubota L3901, 3901. And then I, this is a 6230. I, I thought he said 6300, but he said the John Deere. He said the John Deere on the other side of the DB120, and this is that. So we got to load this and then the other Kubota. Jump in her, start her up. I got to figure out how I use this transmission. Looks like it's a quad shift, if they want to call it that. It looks to be. Put her in gear. There we go. It's got a foot accelerator too. Okay. Okay, I got her in first gear. We'll just go like this. It's fast enough. Here, I'll crank her up into a second. There we go. So, we're gonna go over here and then we're gonna pull around to the trailer. And then we should, ah, uh, you know what? I should probably be pulling the Kubota up first, but for now, John Deere, it'll probably be fine. Actually, let's pull the Kubota up first. It seems like it's a little smaller tractor, a little lighter. I want to keep most of the weight over those rear axles. So I'm going to put her down in first gear. There we go. And pushing the clutch. Perfect. Okay, we'll leave that tractor run. Let's go fire up the Kubota. I think the Kubota is hydrostatic, I, I think. There we go. We'll jump in her. No. Kubota's a... She's a shuttle shift. Okay. So there's my forward and left-handed reverser. And there's my four gears. One, two, three, four. Okay. We'll put her in gear. There we go. Okay, so I think I'm gonna pull the Kubota on first. And I'll just pull it forward. I'm gonna crank her up in gear. This dealership, dude, they have a lot of equipment around here. I got to talk to Buck about how they got all the equipment in here. Because it's weird that they got deer sitting at a Case IH dealership. But like I said, there's a lot of equipment that runs through uh, through here that isn't actually owned by Case. Okay, let's downshift. Okay, we'll pull her up here. There we go. Keep crawling. I think we're good. It's got this creep mode, which is just awesome. There we go. We'll keep going. And honestly, I think I'll have enough room. So I'm just going to... There we go. We'll push the clutch in. Perfect. 
Okay, Kubota's loaded, and then deer, I think, yeah, we'll have enough for him. We'll be good. Jump in her. Put her in reverse. Keep coming. And then put her in drive. Perfect. And I think we're about good. Right, keep coming, keep coming. There, push the clutch into the brakes. Perfect. There we go. I'd say that's good. Let's fold them up and get going. Dude, every time I go down Bucks Road, my truck just gets completely covered. Like, if I keep transporting this stuff, every time I'm going to have to wash my truck off, drive back, wash it off, just so I can see at least. My gosh. And there's Buck. Okay. I'd assume, actually, I got a ramp for these. I should be able to just drop them right here. Okay, I'm not that bad a driver, Buck. Well, by the way, your truck looks looks like you went mudding on the way back. Dude, but your road is messed up out there. It's all mud. You need to fix that, dude. I got a grader, actually, if you want to borrow it. Hey, I'm not the one that got hit by a flood here. That road down there, yeah, I can agree with you. It got pretty muddy. PD got a little, uh, PD had a little trouble getting up here, but otherwise than that, it, it was fine. Okay. But I think how I'm going to have to do this, because actually it's 5 o'clock. It's, it's Wednesday. It's 5 o'clock somewhere. Here. It, well, it's 5 o'clock here right now, but as you can see here, it is Wednesday. And what time do we close on Wednesdays? 6 o'clock. 5. Okay. So what I think we're going to do just for the timing of this is you know the stuff down there. Uh, you know all the stuff that's what you need. You need to get the pallet forks and all that stuff. You can pick up the skid steer and do all that stuff. I'm going to shut down the lot. Okay. So just get it. I can help you out with this stuff. I'm going to fill out just a few papers. I'll come get these tractors, uh, get them stuff, and then I'm actually going to head home. Yeah. So we'll just kind of get everything else uh, wrapped up tonight? here. Uh, no. Uh, feel i got to get the, um, the house cleaned up. Okay. That's over there. Do you want me to uh, just drop them here then? I got the ramps down already. Yeah, you can take okay. them off if you want. Okay. Well, once you do that, just uh, go down there and pick up your skid steer stuff. Also pick up your skid steer and just drive home safely. Sounds good. I really appreciate the business, Buck. It was awesome. No problem, sir. I got to make a hey, firm handshake. Yep. There we go. All right. There you go. Thank you so much for the help out here today, bud. Yeah, no problem. If you need me, just give me a call. All right. Sounds like a plan. I'll we'll catch you, you in a bit. All right, see you, bud. Thank you. Put her in reverse. There we go. Okay, I'm not sure where he wants it at. I think somewhere out there. I'm going to start driving out there. My gosh, I guess crazy on tractor. Here, we'll put her in second gear. There we go. Third. And I should be able to shift over to Z to C. There we go. I'm not sure where he wants this tractor. Unless he waves me over there. Okay, yep, he's coming. He's coming after me. Perfect. Is that where you want the tractor, Buck? Yeah, I mean, I can adjust it if anything. I, I Just at least in this area right here. I'm going to have my smaller, like, baling-ish tractors towards the top of the hill for okay. seasonal. Uh, spring tillage stuff down towards the bottom. I got a, tomorrow morning, it's going to be a little more rushed. I'm going to have to go pick up some more stuff. Apparently, they're having some 9Rs, 9RXs come in, as well as just more just more equipment we're going to start filling the lot we also got more used stuff coming in some stuff's transferring over from iowa some of it's coming from i think fremont uh just you know, it's just gonna be busy i want nice a little demo from that 9r 9rx that'd be cool you already had a 7r demo <laughs> yeah give it a couple good. of these. i'm good um I'll if you want have to, to yeah. come eat lunch in one of them though that's for sure uh okay well i'm making sure the plastic seat covers are still on there when you're coming in <laughs> Just don't don't bring something that will spill, right? Okay. Then we'll have a deal. Okay. Uh, the last thing is, though, just if you want to detach the bucket, just get the um, little lock ears on there. I believe I still had that on there. So just undo the lo the locks that, that keep the bucket on. Yep. Uh, take the bucket off. If you want to move the Kubota and attach it to it, you can, but then just load up the thing and you can head out if you want. Sounds good. 10-4. Thanks, Buck. No problem, sir. I'll be in there doing some paperwork, and I'll catch you later, bud. Yeah. Have a good night, Buck. You too. See you, bud. Well, we got the keys, we got the paperwork done to our new 33-3G deer.
33-3. I think I said too many numbers, but uh, this is our baby. I was wanting to go with the Kubota 95-2. Uh, don't get me wrong, love everything about it, but the deer, as far as ride, as far as ride comfortability and handling, it just handled a lot better, and I just felt it felt more natural on the deer. Don't get me wrong, Kubota. I know a lot of guys that run it. Holy crap! Is that Buck? I know a lot of guys that run the Kubota. They love it. So we're gonna get going the deer runner and uh, get this bucket off, and then we gotta go pick up all those implements. I'm excited for the trailer attachment plate that goes on, cause that way I'll be able to move around any implement with the skids here. What's that, Buck? That, my friend, is another new arrival. We got ourselves some of the uh, hoggies. Okay. Was nice. This we we have. There's another. There's even a bigger sprayer than this one. So if you're looking to get your field spray, I would suggest buying this. But there is a key feature. What's that? It, it's the. Uh, you can move the booms up and down, left and right, kind of like a regular spray would. But there is another configuration that gets you another, I think, 12, 12 feet of width of coverage. Like this isn't even their biggest booms, and these things go way out. Extender out. I want to see this. All right. We just kind of get it fired up here. Make sure. Be careful. Don't hit that here. 6M there. That's why I'm. Uh, watch yourself. Make sure I'm literally out of everything's way. Dang. Holy crap. We gotta get one of these puppies. Look at that. Dang. <laughs> I thought I might wave at you. That's awesome, Buck. I love it. Oh gosh, you almost smacked the ground. <laughs> you get under there. We'll, we'll put Austin on the other side. Just whack. <laughs> Bad boy. Oh man. Uh, okay. Sweet. That's the new hoggy. What's the price on one of these? Two hundred and sixty-five thousand. Holy Toledo. Okay. Well, thanks for showing me it. I'm gonna get loading the skid steer. All right. See you, bud. So I'm gonna detach the bucket, and we're just gonna pull the skid loader up on the trailer. We should be good to go. I probably should fire up his Kubota, but I don't have the key to it to move that bucket. Because he probably wants that bucket hooked up to that Kubota there. For now, we're going to pull up, load the deer up, and we should be good to go. There we go. Slowly come up on the ramps. And just about. There we go. Perfect. That's good. This trailer's a bit overkill for this, but... She'll be fine. We got a lot of attachments we gotta go pick up. Okay, guys, we are loaded. We may or may not have got stuck in the mud back there. That was kind of a big issue. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. I know it was probably crazy long, but that's what I like, and that's what a lot of people are asking for, so that's why I do it. So thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, smash the like button. And hey, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Seriously, by the way, I really appreciate all you guys. I really do. I don't say it enough. Some of you guys don't watch the end of the video. Uh, hopefully those of you guys do uh, listen to this, but seriously, thank you.